Super Bowl team. We love to talk about McVay and the offense. The defense absolutely deserves some credit here. And how much is the question? I was looking at Aaron Donald, and there was a few plays in this game where he beat a double team, beat mm -hmm. a triple team with different types of move. His skill set is phenomenal. He hit a guy with a swim move and got in the backfield and was there in a flash. Now, his stats might not show up big because he's playing in the interior and he's such a phenomenal talent, but his disruption mm -hmm. and making Drew Brees uncomfortable, that was one of the main reasons why the defense was able to step up and play so well. They paid Indomitian Sue $15 million for one year, and he did not have a great regular season, but he had the fourth and one stop against Ezekiel Elliott, and last night he was awesome. But to me, the biggest story on the defensive side of the ball was the complete flip of the switch on what they did to Michael Thomas after what happened the first time they played. I couldn't believe The that. first time these two teams played, Michael Thomas absolutely torched oh my gosh. the Rams. 12 receptions, 15 targets, 211 yards and a touchdown, and he was flexing all over the place. Yesterday, four catches, 36 yards. There was a challenge made to Marcus Peters. There was a challenge made to Aqib Tlaib. And although he's 72 years old, Wade Phillips has some pride. Mm -hmm. Wade Phillips is a prideful man. And there was a challenge made to Wade Phillips with footage of that play, that third and eight deep pass from week nine over and over and over again. I have to give credit to yeah. Wade Phillips and to those defensive backs because Michael Thomas was quiet yesterday. He had a couple catches. Yeah. You saw him, and he was important. You know he was definitely in the game plan. They eliminated him in the biggest of moments. Hats off to that Rams defense silencing one of the best wide receivers in all of football. And even when Sean Payton, after the first game, he comes out, he's talking to the media, he said, you know, well, we like that matchup I a lot. Mm -hmm. and for anybody that's listening to no football, that's basically a big wink like we wanted to go at Marcus Peters, and that's why we hit the game winner. So obviously Marcus Peters felt some type of way. No doubt. And they shut down Michael Thomas, and yet still the Saints have the ball in overtime. They win the toss. They're going to go down the field just like the Patriots did. And before even the interception, sometimes there's the play before the big play. Right. Like we always talk about the Malcolm Butler interception of Russell Wilson. The play before that was Dante Hightower tackling Marshawn Short. If he doesn't, that's it. Right. So if you look at the play before the play, there was a massive, there was a get the run, the ball to Ingram. Sue grabs Ingram. They think he's down. He stops him. And then Donald cleans up for a six-yard loss. That leads to a second 16, which leads to the interception. More of what you're talking about, Peter, with Sue and the guys like that up front. This is after that play, but it's still Breeze, right? Fowler hits him. And then John Johnson, this is a hard, hard play to make. It's, there's how many times Talk you see it. a DB who says, oh, we almost got it. I just couldn't bring it in. Johnson said after the game as he's falling down making the interception, he says, it took forever. He's talking to the LA Times, I couldn't wait for it to come down out of the sky. By the way, after he made the interception, he got up and did the chop up. Yes, he like, did. Right in the super dump. <laughs> he said style. that he had that thing preloaded. He said, as soon as I found out we're going down to New Orleans, I was going to do it. But that so easily could have been an almost play. Almost. Oh, he could, imagine if he had caught it on his back. And we would have been really okay with play. it. Then it's third and 16. Right. You don't know what's happening. But those two plays, unbelievable. Because even after all the defense they did, Saints still have the ball in Dante the time. Fowler was in Jacksonville. And remember we went to London? And all those guys went out and they partied and all that stuff. Yeah. Dante Fowler wasn't one of those guys. No, Dante Fowler did something worse. He forgot to show up to practice that Saturday morning. Did not go to the walkthrough. The Jaguars said, we're done with this guy. The Rams trade for him. Right. And for Dante Fowler, who has been considered a malcontent and a bust, to make the biggest defensive pass rush yeah. of the entire season on any conference in any game says so much about this league and how second chances do exist. Yeah. He made the big play and John Johnson finished it up. These midseason acquisitions have been amazing and it's just insane to think about how I'm looking at the Rams and the Patriots now because I'm so impressed by everything the Rams did, what Jared Goff did. I think that they took down the best team in the NFL. I felt like from the offseason, the Saints were the best team destined to go there. They had home field, everything going for them. So for the Rams to show up to hold them to 10 points mm -hmm. in the last three quarters to stifle a run game that is maybe the best in the yeah. league when it's at, playing at its potential to 48 yards, 48 yards and over 20 carries. Ingram, Kamara, they didn't have much to say yesterday after the game, even about the call, because they knew that they didn't end up doing their job. What they were able to do were Drew Brees how many shots did he take on the field? One mm. to Ted Ginn? One 
Nothing was working for them, so so much credit to Wade Phillips. We'll see what they can cook up for Tom Brady and company. And if you're just tuning in, we have talked a lot about the missed call, and we have very strong feelings yes. about it. I think it's inexcusable. Nate comes out more that they need to make other plays. We've talked about it a lot, and we see. We all feel like it's inexcusable, for sure. Sure, sure, sure. But yeah. I just had to come out on the other days. side. I feel like the Saints still had a chance to win the game after that bad no call. Mm, I think if they throw the flag, they're in the Super Bowl. I do too. So Happens every single game. That. But we'll calls. talk more about oh, that okay. coming up. The rainy coach of the year. Sean McVay has the Rams in the Super Bowl. But how will the young genius fare when he squares off against Bill Belichick in Atlanta? So many ins and outs here. This is Chris Sobey.